ambush. Uh, right, uh, when the startup nation was a um, brainchild of business day, and uh, some of my colleagues in my office, uh, I have a that my background is banking, engineering, but uh, I've been involved in startups for the last 20 years. Uh, I've uh, run my clubs, uh, HR, not a bit of HR, uh, oil and gas, property flows, media labels, yeah. modeling, you name it, modeling, I've done it. Uh, when it comes to startups, the one thing you need to have is passion. And my dad said, being, a, being an entrepreneur or having a startup is like being a pet. You have to have passion, you have to have education, you have to have success, and you have to give some time. Passion is you have to have a joy for what you're doing, you have to desire. I mean, there's nothing worse than waking up in the morning and thinking, oh my god, I have to go to work. I mean, if you're doing a startup and trying to build for yourself, you have to realize that your reward doesn't come instantaneously, it comes further down the line. Education. Uh, you need to educate it at school, to some level. Uh, basic education, but you have to apply common sense. And also, you have to be able to educate yourself. Uh, my background was engineering, but now I'm, I'm into IT. Uh, I do some programming, I do some application development, I try and make as much money as I can. Uh, and then you have to you have to determine what you, you determine the success. To uh, someone like myself, uh, growing I1C to the level of Microsoft would be my success. Uh, to somebody else, growing their business for it to feed their family or feel the next generation might be but you need to have your goals and targets. Once you know where you're going, then you have to try and get there. Then time. I think time is the biggest issue that most people in Nigeria don't know how to handle. Um, when you try and when you start your startup, you need to define your timeline. Um, I have two kids, and uh, I have a wife who's very successful in Nigerian brewery. And she's been, in, she's been in work employment for the last 20 years. So she does not understand my desire to be <laughs> Uh, she likes the security of a check coming in every every month. And when you do a startup, sometimes you have good months and you have months. But you need to give yourself time. Uh, the, the sickness we call when you love your, your company too much. Uh, when you have a startup and you're really passionate for it, then no, it's going to happen, it's going to happen, it's going to happen. And you as an entrepreneur can see that this business is not going anywhere. It might be that you, let's take a McDonald's, you might be the one that brings the McDonald's franchise. But quite frankly, rice and chicken in Nigeria is where, where it's at. I mean, you might bring it McDonald's, it would be expensive. You might think, it, oh, this is the best thing that can happen. But everybody will be buying rice and chicken. Mm -hmm. So as an entrepreneur, if nobody, if nobody is buying your product or buying your service, then you need to move on. Move on to the next thing. And not succeeding is actually a lot of full education. So I don't want to take too much time. I think the best way to do this is that after you hear what people have to say, and you like me to discuss real life situations. Because I mean, we can sit here and tell you how it was for us in my time, but right now it's a different time. See, what I might think now is the main thing, and so many others tell me now. I mean, I'm talking about mobile applications, and yet people tell me that the uh, mobile watch is. I can't say it, but finally, that's the next thing. Thank you.